Hey everyone, Soundwave 84 here in the Transformers review. In this review, we're going to take a look at the Walmart exclusive release, uh, re releases or reissues of Titans Returns figures. Here we have Headmaster Mindwipe, and this is done more in the Transformers Legend style from Takara, which they more mimic the cartoon. Now, this is going to be Mindwipe. Here is his box, it is done in the G1 retro box style. It changed the uh, box art here to mimic the actual toy inside they changed the head i'll show you with the old g1 box art so that's pretty much all they changed right there of course the box is different as well overall they can use the current toy to try to mimic the way the old toys would be pictured along the sides and backs of the box and you got the here you got the old box art and you got tech specs down here so let's take a look and see what we actually get in the package all right so in the package we get uh vorath we get this piece comes separate. It's going to be hit at a weapon or a tail in bat mode. And we get his weapon right here. And we get instructions that try to sort of mimic the old G1 instructions with look. And it's just not folded correctly. I kind of wish they'd done more to actually make this mimic it a little bit more. So that's what you get out of the box. And of course you get Mind Wipe. Which is this bat. And we'll put him right here. And we'll compare... Uh, the headmasters real quick. This is the Vorath you get with the reissue to try to be more in actual G1 style. And we'll show off next to the Vorath you got with the Titan Returns. It is the same mold. It has different colors of plastic and they actually took time to paint the face on the reissue. Whereas the other one is just a black head. Now the biggest difference is when you fold these over for the head sculpts for the robot mode. Mold. 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 Robot mode. I'm I getting the words all mixed up right now. All right, so this is the reissue head skull, which is trying to mimic more of the cartoon aesthetic. And this is what we got with the Tiger Turns, which is mimicking more, I guess, the toy-esque looking face. And I'll put a pictures of those up here as well. Now, honestly, the reissue, you, know, you can say it's Transformers Legends trying to mimic the Headmasters cartoon from Japan. But honestly, I think it could go either way. It looks similar to the Rebirth head because it's got these three little... Uh, no shapes here that seem to not be present very much on the headmasters version but is very much present on the rebirth version and this one here is trying to go for the toy but the toy didn't have red eyes it was just all black right up there but it did have the divisions and everything so head sculpts it just depends on which one you like more you can always plug this one into either you can switch these about it's just the colors of plastic are not going to match all right, so here is Mind Wipe. And this is what you're going to get straight out of the package. He's going to look just like this. Uh, very nice. I actually like the colors and the way it's done more on the reissue. And I said that for all, like, probably all the other reissues that I've reviewed from this. But I just prefer the more G1 aesthetic. And that's just me. That's just the way I am. Uh, then you take this little tail piece. You're going to get a little weapon. Right, it comes out of the package just like this. Fold this in like that. And with this uh, peg, which can go either side here, you'll go down here to his uh, fun zone. There is a peg hole, and you will take this, and uh, you will peg that right in there. Then you can take his weapon here, with the peg hole right here, peg, and you will insert his gun right here. That way, it all stores up on the back side of the robot, and you got a little bit of articulation with that. So that is the reissue Mind Wipe right here. So we'll put that down, and we'll bring in the actual Titans Returns Mind Wipe so you can uh, get a look at these. You can see how the colors of plastic differ very much, especially on the wings really shows off. The reissue has more of the brown colors, whereas the Titans Returns is pretty much straight purple. The Titans Returns also has a brighter purple, whereas... The reissue it goes for the more dark purple, which is more correct to G1. Both still have translucent little fronts here. But this one's a darker color of a pinkish red, or purple red, purple pink, whatever you want to call it, with a silver Decepticon logo right there, and some silver paint right here on the side. Whereas this one here is just a straight up reddish pink translucent piece. The only Decepticon logo will be on the reverse side. Uh, the head sculpts are exactly the same. The mouth does open and close. Teeth are painted a silver here on this version. Teeth are also painted a silver color. And it does open and close. So the head sculpts got red eyes on the reissue. 
uh, sort of a gray eyes on the tensions. Red eyes would be what you want for the G1 cartoon aesthetic as well. Uh, so aura colors, I mean, I, which one do you prefer? I'm going more for the reissue. They did reshape the ears. You see how the ears here are more pointy. Whereas the reissue ears have this more of a devil horn kind of a curve to them. They are still rubbery. So this plastic is still rubbery. But not as rubbery and flexible as what the Titan Returns version is. This is very flexible. These are a little more hardened. Same on the wingtips here. This is still flexible and soft, but it is not this kind of soft where it's just really pliable. You don't have that on this reissue. It's pliable, but not as pliable as the Titan Returns. Same for the back wings. These are still rubbery. But they're not as soft in these are. These feel like you could just, just straight up, you no know, rubber band like. Or this feels like more of a soft plastic. Also, the feet here are just straight purple. Whereas the feet here are actually painted black. It's very shiny, very glossy, very different from the matte black or the dull blacks you got on the rest of the figure. And I did actually, there was actually like hair stuck to it. I had to pull off when I opened the package. I've had this guy for a while now. I've just got around to review him. I've had him for definitely over a month i'm trying to finish up the reissue reviews uh make sure his head it's got a little tap here you do want to put it right here in that little gap to make it lock in so it's a nice looking bat mode not really the best i think the g1 toy actually does a better overall looking bat this one's a little more uh panelly but it still gets the job done and when he's in this mode, you can store Vorath inside of this little clear plastic area. You just want to open this up. You can see where there's this little slot down here and a, a backing. It's like a little seat, a little chair. Just you want to take him, get him into a seating position. This tab back here. We'll then go right into this piece here. And you'll just want to just set him in and just tab that piece right there. And you can just close that up. And he can now sit inside of Mind Wipe. All right, for scale, let's see how big Mind Wipe is in this mode. We can put him right here next to Earthrise Optimus Prime in his truck mode. So pretty much, he is about the same size as Earthrise Prime. All right, so let's transform Mind Wipe into robot mode. I'm going to first come here and just untap that head, bring it down. Untab the wings. Here's these little tabs here that go right into these little uh, slotted gaps on the back here. Then we want to bring these up like this. Go ahead and fold his legs in. This just folds here at this panel. In the panel, then you want to fold again to where this little hole is going to go right over this piece here. And then as you fold this in, you can see the tab here. There is a slot right here. So we want to bend this rubber piece in when you do that you're just going to line that up and you're just going to tab that in like that and just take his foot fold it down you got that leg done bring the other leg down we're just going to do the same things here and this is all about folding the legs in and down around And you want to tab that in. And bring the foot down. Now I was folding panels. I heard a bad sound and I wanted to check it out. And I did. He did crack right here along the pin. You can see this crack. All I did was fold his panels. It was so tight. It just cracked them right there. So that is disappointing. So it looks like he will not be transforming back into his bat mode any time soon at all then we come up here to these little wings they're on these little pieces you bring his head down and this will just turns around to the back side of the robot and you want to bring these down these will be his arms untap the tail put it to the side open up his arms like this hands are on the underside just bring those out Bring that out. Alrighty. Oh, bring his arms down. And I guess I need 180 of these suckers around here. And you got his wings in the back. You can bring his head back up. And it's going to store back here. You can see this little tab can now go right in this little slot right there. 
and that will lock the bat head right in its place put this down now we'll just take vorath we we'll have just fold this over and we're just going to tab this in like that and there is mind wipe in robot mode uh very disappointed that the leg is already cracked i don't understand all i was doing was folding the panels and this thing just went crackety crack crack so if you get one just be very careful with it uh i didn't think i was being that rough with it but apparently i was violating my toy come to this this unpeg this gun either hand doesn't matter this right here you can now pull these out and it'll be like little blades take this piece here rotate it down this guy you can put it in his hand if you want to or you can put it right here and it's got like a claw shield so that is really cool right there and i really like the colors on this guy it looks really good he just looks more g1-esque and i i'm just loving the overall look still saddened by the cracking man that's really really making me mad so articulation will hit that real fast you got ball joint and shoulders you can get them up to here you can 360 them all the way around you saw the bicep swivel right there elbow bends to there uh no wrist swivels um you get a 360 waist swivel. Uh, hips are pinned through. Uh, you can get them way up to there. Kick forward, back, knees bend pretty deep. Uh, no ankle tilts, but you do get a little a little toe tap, a little foot rock going on. So that, that is your articulation on mine. Why? Oh, the head. You know, it's got the the rockety rock, 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 and a little spinning roo 360 around. So we'll do some comparisons here with uh, Mind Wipe with his Titan Return self, and I'll show him off with some other uh, figures as well. All right, so here is your Mind Wipe reissue on your viewing left, and the Titan Return version on your viewing right. Uh, pretty much the same exact mold. This is like I said, different colors, plastic, new head sculpt. So you can see where the differences now lie. They took out the brown on the front of the figure here that would be on the legs. Silver went to black. Uh, then the purple, of course, went from a bright purple to a dark purple. You did gain the silver, which is a cartoon accurate on the chest right there. Change in the head sculpt as well. That's really your only differences. Now, yeah, I did pick that into his hand on the arm. Uh, so, to the sides, uh, the arms here went to black for the painted for the feet. And they're still purple here. And to the back. So, I mean, it's a nice robot. I do like the darker purple over the bright purple. Now, I do like the black biceps. Stand the F up, dude. Uh, the black biceps, because it kind of breaks up all the purple there. And they did. He had black uh, forearms, where here he has purple. Next to reissue Weird Wolf. And bring in reissue Skull Cruncher. These are the three Decepticon reissues of the g1 headmaster style the other ones are all autobots brainstorm hardhead chrome dome and highbrow these are the decepticon ones here and yes this guy fell over again doesn't want to stand up and we'll bring in some other figures just so you can see some sense of scale we'll take these guys out they all look really good together uh here is scourge because you know he was in the episode rebirth with him being a voyager he is of course going to dwarf these guys because these guys are deluxes so the scale is off but i'm pretty sure they're now it's just my my guessing here that they're probably not going to remake mind wipe skull smasher and uh weird wolf anytime soon especially since they re-release them to sort of flow into these other ones and here's snapdragon he's also a voyager headmaster and he's going to uh, dwarf these guys as well all right, so final thoughts. Uh, these reissues are very nice looking. I think they look a lot better than the Times Returns versions did. They are more based on, like I said, the Transformer Legend ones from Takara over in Japan. More based on the animation, be it the Headmaster cartoon, more so than the Rebirth. In America, they did fix some, I guess, QC problems on some figures. But hell, this guy here cracked. And that still really irks me and makes me mad. Uh, I, like I said, I do like the colors more so on these guys. I think as it's more G1 accurate, uh, it just looks a lot better. And like they fix Skull Cruncher's uh, looseness, but he's still loose down there. It's just not as glaring, but it's it is there. Uh, he'll probably fall over there. You go. So 
pick these guys up. You see, I'm sure they're only $19.87. It's pretty much by the price of a deluxe figure now. Articulation is not as great, and they don't support blast effects and stuff like that, so you do kind of lose out. But hey, you get a nice G1 style box with some G1 box art with these guys. And I think that sort of makes up. You get a nice nostalgic throwback with some modern toys. Anyway, thanks for watching these reviews. Until the next ones, peace out. Oh, <laughs>